All right, guys. I had a huge message come through. It hit me strong, and Spirit was like Capricorn. And I'm gonna use a red pen. Red may be someone's favorite color here, or maybe you, red is very significant in your message today. Or maybe you're needing to wear red during this time. Red lipstick, red nails. Red, red is very important. I'm also seeing a message that's read or somebody who hasn't read a message. Some of you, not all, but some of you, you have a person around you, whether it's an ex, whether it's someone you talked to for just a little bit but didn't really go anywhere, whether it's someone who was kind of obsessed with you and you didn't really want anything to do with this person and they were like doing the most. I don't know how you know this person, but for some of you, you have an individual that Um, they just pop back up every now and then, whether you know it or not. Some of you don't know it, and they like watch you, whether they drive past your house or they look you up online or whatever. They're like, you know, they watch you. And not to be like creepy, I'm not getting anything like weird from it, but I think it's notable. I think it's something you should note. Or it's someone who like will text you, or every now and then they'll pop back up. Or so, just take note of that. I'm gonna write that down. It's um. You have a watcher. I'm also seeing something called The Watcher. It's a show, I think it it was a show based after um, a true story, I think. Some of you, this could be like a neighbor, maybe they live in the same town, city, they don't live too far away. I just started drawing a window out of nowhere. So maybe this person can see your window or they watch you on windows, windows, or the computer, the phone, something, or they literally can see your window. I'm also seeing uh, railroad, train tracks, but anyway, all right, Capricorn, so we have red, red. For the majority of you, work looks really good. I picked up on work from you guys. I, I honestly don't know a Capricorn that's not a leader, especially in the workplace. Capricorns kill it in the workplace, like they just do. And both of my brothers are Capricorns and supposedly I have more Capricorn in my chart than anything, but I actually don't know my birth chart, so. <laughs> Um, it wouldn't surprise me though. That's something that I truly admire about you guys is how your work ethic, how hard you work. So work seems to be going really well. You could have a few admirers there. It could just be people who they really appreciate you, enjoy you. If you are a stay at home mom or you work from home, the people that you live with admire you. Like they really do. They're like, wow. They probably don't say it enough, whether it's roommates, children, spouses, friends, parents, it's like they probably don't say how much they appreciate you or maybe they do sometimes, but like deep down, these are people that appreciate you. Yeah. Especially if these are children who are older. You've got a lot of great energy around you during this time. It, it seems that, you know, there may be a few hiccups here and there. Could be with health, but um, it's nothing major, you know, for the most part. It's not nothing that you can't handle. I'll say that, you know, you're, you're extremely tough. I think like the more time that's gone on, I've just began to admire Capricorns even more and see, I believe that we're all signs. So you don't even have to be a Capricorn to watch this. You could be any sign. In fact, I promote that because I guess I may mention it every video until it really gets out there, but I absolutely admire astrology. I love it. It's super intriguing, anything spiritual. But I also see the other side of things where we can get too hung up on details, you know, and all of that had to start from somewhere. So it's like sometimes you don't want to lose your originality and your ability to see things, perceive things, and also put them out because you're too busy reading what everyone else has put and wrote and what Google says in books. And that's fine, but you want to balance, right? So I try to teach people now because I was told a birth time and then I realized it was a lie. And for a while I was like, oh yeah, I felt so, um, I felt like I belonged, right? Being adopted, sometimes you can have those issues. And after I found out my birth time, I was like, oh, I felt like I belonged, especially in the spiritual community, because then I could place my rising sign and my moon sign and my Jupiter and Uranus and all that, you know, which is, it makes you feel like a part of the community. But then when you realize, oh my God, I don't have that. I actually don't know my time of birth and I never will. It's not on my birth certificate. We've talked about this before. I just want to touch on it again. 
because I want you to know you could be any sign watching this and all of those things are while they're interesting and amazing and super intriguing you know you can learn about it forever in the grand scheme of things everything really is quite simple and none of that truly matters the it it only aligns with you because you've come into this existence but if you are just the soul your soul itself is not necessarily a zodiac sign so again welcome to whoever's watching this video i believe in divine appointments and divine timing so there's something here for you or for someone connected to your energy and whether or not this resonates right now because we could all be on different timelines something here may stand out to you and you'll remember it later but going back to all that um i really admire you whoever you are watching be it a capricorn or not i can feel your energy that's why spirit was like do this message but capricorns during this time it's like you bounce back you know what I mean you always bounce back no matter what's thrown at you and some of y'all have had some <laughs> difficult things thrown at you there's something to do with someone's child here I'm not sure if this is an older son or an older daughter it's gonna be different for everyone there's something specific about it what what, what about the child I don't know I tried sitting here for a minute and I'm not really I feel like they're going through something, but I can't tell what it is. Some, it's, some of them, if you have more than one child, or maybe there's like a blended family here, some of you, this older child, there's um, kind of a, I don't get that they're jealous. No, that's not the right word. I feel like they, something's going on between them and another sibling, whether you know about it or not. And it's like a, there's like this low-key competition between them always. Maybe you are aware of it, but not as deep as it is. It's like this, I don't know, competition for a uh, favorite, maybe. <laughs> for some, you know, this could be this could be boys or masculines, even if they're a little older, you know, they could be adults now even. But, um, or this could be you, I don't know. But then also some of you, if let's say you have like an only child, something's going on. They're needing me to tell you that, but I don't know what it is. They could just be, I don't know if it's like someone's, somebody at school's messing with them, or it's like an ex of theirs that just really messed up their self-esteem, and it still really affects them. I feel like somebody could have done something or said something at some time, and you know, whether they show it or not, it, they, it hurts. It hurts them. Yeah, so just somebody needed to know that. They'll be okay. They're all right. It's just, you know. Maybe you've been sensing something and this is the confirmation for some of you. How many of you have been getting signs from spirit? Some of you may be like, okay, I've noticed the signs, I've recognized the signs. Some of you may be um, missing them. I'm getting, it's like, um, I'm hearing repetition. It's like a repetition of signs, whether it's the same sign you've been seeing, but you're not acknowledging it. Okay, example. Some of you are, some of you are not. I um, I was seeing dinosaurs for days and I was kind of like, you know, I was taking note of it because if I wasn't, then I wouldn't have remembered I was seeing dinosaurs for days. But, uh, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. I was just kind of taking little seeds down in my brain and I saw it a few times and I'm like, okay. And then it started coming in more and I started seeing the word dinosaur and I started seeing random dinosaurs everywhere. And I'm like, okay, what? I still don't know what it means. But um, I went ahead and posted it in my community tab because I'm like, something, something, this happens to me often. I'll get those signs and it'll be a message later. This is happening to you. You're getting signs. You've been getting signs. I don't know what it's about. Just like reoccurring things. Some of you, let's say, it's going to be something to do with a vehicle. And if we're speaking poetically, a vehicle can also be your body because your body is basically a taxi that moves you through life and you know you leave each other at the end it picks you up when you come through this existence and when you leave this existence you let each other go so your body is your taxi it's your vessel it's your vehicle but there's something to the vehicle here or vehicle problems or vehicle issues maintenance so whether it's maintenance spiritually needing to cleanse your energy i do feel some of you need a little bit of a break like it's good to not always have people around you. Now, I know sometimes that's impossible, especially if you 
have um, like a large family or you work around a lot of people all the time, but you have to find that time. You really do. I mean, especially Capricorns or whoever you are watching, because I feel like whoever you are, there's a need for grounding, you know, like to ground yourself. Take your shoes off, walk barefoot in the earth. I feel like I could talk on yours forever, probably gonna go way over. I just feel like maybe you need a hug or something. You know, I feel like um, some of the best people I've ever met are Capricorns, no lie. Like they're very tough outwardly and they are really tough actually, but um, inwardly super tender and loving. I mean, very much so, even the males. That being said, I feel like sometimes you guys, because you're such leaders, anyone watching, because you are a leader in your own way, you, uh, I mean, just, it's your nature. It's kind of like other people, whether you know it or not, they, um, they unpack all their negative energy on you, what, no matter what it is. It's like, I don't know if you notice, it sticks to you. Sometimes you got to remove your energy and walk out of the building, walk out of the house, sit on the porch, sit on a chair outside, do what you got to do. It's like, I, I need a break, you know? Pay attention to that. Pay attention to your vehicle. Your body will react when you're around certain people that are not good for you, whether it's your family, whether it's at work. It could be both. And it may be something that you're ignoring, but maybe Spirit's trying to say, hey, we, we need you to have a new environment. You are wiser than you realize that you are. And in order to do that, you may have to make some painful changes. You may have to cut your losses. Some of you may have already done this. This could be past tense. You may have already cut some losses, but you could feel a whole lot better now because it's just like, I, I don't have that sucking the life from me anymore. I think if you haven't got to that point yet, you may get to a point where there's something you're gonna be like, I just, I can't do it anymore. I'm thrown in the towel. I, I honestly cannot do it anymore. Nor do I want to, I just don't want to. And then you're gonna be surprised at how your body and your chakras open up because you're not denying yourself right now. Right now, everyone's plugging into you throughout the day, whether you realize it or not. And it's like, but it's not really helping you any, you're just helping them. And at what point do you, do you stop that? Because you can only go so far before you're completely drained. But we'll leave it there. I could keep going on yours. I feel like very strong Capricorn energy right now or whoever's watching me because you are watching me for a reason. All right, guys, I love you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.